Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. For you lot that are on the popular forums for multi-rotors will have noticed that DJI actually put out an announcement last month for beta testers for their brand new brushless gimbal. Now there was a certain criteria you had to meet, unfortunately I met them. Uh, I took a punt and sent a message to DJI and I didn't hear anything back up until this morning. At 4 o'clock this morning I got an email from Abby at DJI who uh, gave me the invitation to try out their brushless gimbal. Now uh, I have got a tracking number for that so at the moment it's still in China but it's on its way here. It's expected to be here at some point on Wednesday next week so uh, hopefully I'll be the first person uh, in the Europe to get it because I know one of the other people that are getting it is called Edward Schneider uh, and he won't be getting his until probably the 17th so uh, it looks like I might be the first person to, uh, to actually get that gimbal out there and uh, start testing it so I'm looking forward to doing that now I want some feedback from you guys uh, I want to know what you want to see from the gimbal um, is there anything you want me to test uh, you know anything you want me to show close up etc then uh, give me a shout in the comments box below or visit my website djiguys.com and uh, post on there I'll be putting all the information on there, my website and uh, posting all the pictures and everything that I come across during the testing of the uh, gimbal I will be posting the videos on uh, this page as well on this uh, YouTube page so uh, you guys who have subscribed you will see and uh, yeah that's it really I'm really looking forward to testing it. I thank DJI for giving me the opportunity to uh, be a beta tester for them. Uh, I don't get to keep the unit unfortunately. I've got to uh, test it and uh, find some anything that's wrong with it within a week and uh, report back to DJI and continue testing it uh, for a month and then I have to send it back. Uh, but you know at least I get my hands on one and see what it's all about and I'm really looking forward to that as I say so uh, yeah that's it I appreciate you guys watching uh, for anyone else that wants to continue watching I've just got some new goodies uh, sent in by the postman so let's open them up and see what we got okay so let's have a look at the first box I've already just undone this should be one of two things ah. A new fruit arbor. Let's get this out of the way. Fruit arbor 8FG Super. So this is the 14 channel fruit arbor uh, 2.4 radio, which uh, I'm pretty stoked to have. Uh, as you know, guys know, I've been using fruit arbor radios anyway with the fruit arbor T8J, and this has uh, done me proud. Very happy with this. Sorry about that. As you can see, this is my Fruit Arbor THJ, and this is a very trusty little piece of equipment. I'm very happy with this. I'm glad I bought it. Uh, as you've seen, I flew the Phantom uh, just under a mile with this bad boy, and I'm very happy with it. You can upgrade it uh, to long range using the new HF system and uh, etc. etc. All eight channels, blah blah blah. You would know what it's all about. But I've uh, decided to upgrade to the Fruit Arbor 8FG Super because I get extra channels. I've just got eight, I've got 14 channels, all proportional. Now there's two main reasons why I wanted this. Uh, some people have been sending me messages asking what's wrong with the THJ. There's nothing wrong with the THJ at all. Uh, I'll be happy to keep on using it, but I'll show you the reason why I went for the T8FG Super. Uh, basically, more channels, as I mentioned, but also the sliders here and here. I'm going to set them as my gimbal sliders. So as I'm flying round, I don't have to take my hand off and adjust the uh, knobs for the gimbal. Although I could have set it to a switch if I wanted to, and uh, I would just point up and down. But I prefer a bit of proportional control where I can make it look down a little bit or a lot. So uh, yeah, that's the reason for choosing this radio. Plus, I'm very happy with Fruit Arbor. Um, I could have went to Spectrum, but uh, Spectrum would have been cheaper in fact. But as I say, this is um, my kind of radio. I've bought Fruit Arbor in the past, so I'm quite happy to stay with Fruit Arbor. It's kind of like if you buy a Volkswagen and you like Volkswagens and then you kind of stick with that, with that brand. Uh, it's the same thing with radios. Uh, this is my Volkswagen. So uh, yeah, I got this from Kingsland Models down south and I'm, uh, I picked up a uh, charger as well for it so I can charge it up comes with a rechargeable battery uh, actually when I was going to order this I went onto their website and they uh, shown out of stock and they were waiting for them to get in so I rang them just to see if the, they just hadn't updated the website and uh, they said no we haven't got any in stock we've only got the full one with all the servos etc 
and I was like, oh, bummer. So they said, tell you what, we'll set, we'll set, tip the servos and all the receiver out and all that, and we'll sell you the uh, the kit that you want. So that was very good of Kingsley Models to uh, to do that. So I really appreciate it. Another another thing was after I ordered it, they rang me up and said, oh, we noticed you've ordered a charger for a Futaba. Is that the one that you wanted for the 8FG? I said, yeah. They said, well, the one you've ordered is incorrect, but we will send the correct one to you for the same price. Um, because it was reduced to five pounds, so I was like, "Well, thanks very much." Uh, so rather than just being a normal distributor and just there uh, going, "Well, that's what he's ordered, that's what he's getting," they looked at what I ordered. For is he putting those two together? Realised that they would go together. Called me up to make sure, and then rectified the problem for me. So uh, kudos to uh, Kingsley Models for recognising that and uh, sorting me out. <laughs> Personally made out to DJIGuys.com, which is pretty good. Uh, get this open. Let's move the camera back. Uh, okay. I'm expecting this to be my box from Hobby King. Hobby King actually expects you to uh, get your package while the uh, posted post, um, mailman's on the door. Actually, open it and check it all before he leaves, which is impossible because those guys are rushed off the feet and they drop it off and they're, they're off back in the van and gone. They don't want to be hanging around while you check everything. So, don't really like ordering too much off Hobby King for that reason because uh, you know if anything is missing, they say, well, it's your fault you didn't rectify it with the uh, the delivery driver. But hey, I'm opening this one on camera, so maybe if anything's missing. I can prove. There you go, my brand new cardboard. No, just kidding. Let's get all this out. Okay. So this is the reason why the box is so big. A very large piece of carbon fiber pole. Or carbon pole, I'm not sure. It said carbon fiber, it doesn't look like it, but. Yeah, that's for a uh, different project that's going to go on the Phantom at a later date. And a whole bunch of XT60 uh, banana leaves. Some uh, hex tools by Turnergy because uh, I rounded mine off. And here we have the Hobby King 4B6 Intelligent Balance Charger. Now, uh, my poor little um, Overlander charger has been charging many of my batteries constantly and it takes an absolute age to get them all done because I've got six uh, 5000 milliamp uh, batteries, one 5800 milliamp and then about eight 2200 milliamp for the Phantom so as you can imagine it takes a while to charge up so I ordered this uh, 4v6 charger smaller than I expected well that's not a bad thing as you see you got banana leads on the end there that's for the power supply uh, I've actually ordered a power supply a two power supply uh, so I can plug that straight in and charge it up and as you can see we've got four charge ports here to uh, it's not a good sound I don't know if you can hear that Not really what I expected to hear when I've just opened up the package. But hey, we'll put this on the uh, bench and uh, test it. Yeah, that means I can charge four batteries at once, not just charge them, but balance charge them as well. Got two temperature sensors in there. That looks uh, like a good bit of kit. Let's see what else we've got in the box. Clip. So. PQQ2 adapter, uh, EH adapter, and a JST adapter. That's the ones that's most commonly used on the LiPos. Now you only get one of them, and we've got four um, ports to use, so I've had to order some extra ones of them from eBay, which are only about £2 or something anyway, so no big deal. So that's the one we're going to be using. Uh, TPFPO2, again, we won't be using that. Another clip. And then we have all our charge cables. So we've got Tamiya, we've got crocodile clips, we've got the charger for glow plugs and Futaba type. I uh, can't remember what that's called. As you can see, I've ordered two because uh, I'm greedy. 
Uh, these are actually a good price, they're about £51, £52, which isn't bad for a, a charger when you normally spend about £35 on a single charger itself anyway, so uh, £50 odd for a charger that can charge four, or balance charge four, uh, is a pretty good deal. Uh, so, as I mentioned, I need more JSTs. So I bought more, they were, as I say, they're about £2 each, so I've ordered six of them. So now I can charge up all my batteries, in fact I can charge eight batteries with these two LiPo chargers uh, at once. And I've still got my Overlander to charge up with. Um, just in case I bought some quite heavy duty uh, rated up to 50 watt uh, banana leads to stick on the cable to charge up the uh, to power the chargers from my bench power supply which hasn't arrived yet but I'll show that in a later video so uh, yeah that's it uh, that's it for now guys uh, thanks for watching as soon as I know anything more or as soon as my um, uh, brushless gimbal arrives I'll let you guys know uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back very soon I'm a bad mother, 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 I